So here's my issue. Genuinely like me. My vibe. You find me attractive, but you refuse to date me because I'm plus size. Not even because- Yeah. Uh, I don't know why so many people think that you need more than that. People literally end relationships over way less than that. I remember literally getting denied because I was born in July. I've had many people deny. I've heard I've heard many people deny over way, 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 way less. I've literally had a guy friend I know got denied from a girl because he watched anime. And she was like, I can't do that. You're an incel because you watch anime, which is really crazy. But I hear that all the time. And also the idea that because you have a great personality or a great vibe, which I guess at this point just means that you're clicking, I guess. Um, that doesn't really insignify that I have to stay with you. If I'm like fundamentally unattracted to your body, you do realize that's like, a major feature of like actually finding attraction in that person solely, right? The, the physical, I know there are some people out there that disagree with that and and they'll tell you like, oh no, I don't really care about the physical aspect of, a, uh, of, of somebody's body. That's fine. I'm sure you are like, you're cool. That's great. But most people, they want to find the person that they're with attractive physically. They at least want to want to be with that person, right? Physically speaking. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. That's like majority of the time that's completely fine. You, I don't know why you think you're an anomaly for having a great personality or you're funny or you are you have like all this awesome, amazing stuff that you develop through your life. That's awesome. I really, I, I think that's great. But can we just like take a second and just go through it? You're not unique. Okay, there are plenty of thin women that don't have to deal with all the bad stuff that comes with being fat, and they also have the same personality types, they also have the same vibes, they also have the same stuff. It's like, it's just a defect being fat, and I hear this all the time, that it's like, oh, well, you like me, dude, that doesn't mean that I'm gonna, like, actually devote myself to you, okay? Like, having sex with somebody is very easy, and if, that, if that's what you're talking about, then, like, fine, whatever, but... It doesn't mean that that person is going to devote or get the commitment out of you in order to stay with you for a prolonged period of time, which is the ultimate goal, especially if you're talking about dating, like dating, dating, not like having sex. I know like people use those words interchangeable, but no, I'm actually talking about actually dating. But you refuse to date me because I'm plus size. Might be the forehead too, actually. Not even because you don't like it. Because your friends won't like it. I think I, I'm going to call bullshit on this. I hear this a lot where they go, oh, you just don't want your friends to see it. You just don't want your family. You don't want to take me home to your family. You don't want to take me to family gatherings and, and all this other stuff. And I always think, like, I don't know how practical that is. I don't know how many times. Like, I've been in scenarios before where I've talked to my guy friends about maybe the girl I was dating. Most of the time, most mo most dudes I know, they don't care because they got their own shit going on. And that's not really any of their business for the most part. No, maybe, like prior to the relationship ending like if you broke up maybe those guys will go ah you know it's okay bro like she wasn't that good anyway like she kind of did this she did that whatever you deserve better maybe that i've heard many times on the woman side of women like legitimately shit talking uh women's whole boyfriends over like almost nothing because they'll get like the bad stuff and sometimes what happens is like one thing i i know i didn't think i knew for a long time but now i do know that a lot of times when you're in relationships if you tell your girlfriend stuff, her best friend probably knows that same stuff. And I've run into scenarios many, many times in my life where I was talking to my girlfriend's best friend or something, and she had brought up something, and I was like, what the fuck? How do you know that, dude? Who the, Why the fuck do you know that shit, dude? Like some deep, really, really like you know, confining information that I thought that I was really safe with the individual that I, I placed that information upon, but that information was spread to another person. And the problem is that wouldn't be an ordinarily problem, but the farther that line goes down, the more and more people are going to know about that information. So if you have some weird kink or weird fetish, like you like sucking toenails or you like putting hot sauce on a woman's areolas and licking it off, there are going to be her best friend's probably going to know about that. Not all the time, but I've come across this phenomenon way too many times. And I know there are people out there going, David, I know men also talk about sexual activities. Not really. Not really. Most dudes, if they're talking about sexual activity, it's very generic or it's very like, oh, yeah, bro, I had sex with this one girl. Yeah, it was okay. Uh, I think the worst thing I've ever gotten from my friends was like he said that he had kissed a girl. He said that it smelled like she had a banana peel in her mouth or something like that. But they weren't dating. Like, they're not talking bad shit about their girlfriends. And if they are, it's usually, oh, you know, my girlfriend did this. What do you think about that? Like, she said that I was wrong about this, but I don't think I'm wrong. Can you tell me what you think about that? And I'll give my honest opinion on those particular fronts. But I've never heard, in my personal opinion, 
um, a guy telling me some deep insecurity about his girlfriend. And you, and that was like really, really deep information that she thought that that was only going to be between him and her. I've never had that happen to me ever in my entire life. And maybe you have your own anecdotal stories, but I've come across this phenomenon way too many times for this shit to be not just isolated to just me. I've seen many guys have the same thing, but um, I don't even know what we're talking about, dude. But I don't think that most men are like looking at their best friends and going, oh, yeah, I really hope that my friends don't disapprove of this 210 pound woman that I'm dating. Most guys probably don't care. Probably. I don't, I don't think that's like a common thing. It's probably just, he's, he's either the guy that this woman is talking about is either a guy that probably genuinely doesn't like fat girls or he genuinely doesn't like fat girls and he's using you for sexual satisfaction or he does like you, but he doesn't want to commit to you. But either way, it's not good because your family won't like it. Society. Period. That's sad. It, what I'm actually hearing from this is like, this is the bull, this is like this bullshit I hear quite a bit where they go, instead of like actually, instead of actually taking accountability, I'm just gonna tell you some bullshit to try to make it seem like it's not my fault. So if you go, why don't you wanna date me? Instead of the guy just telling you straight out, I'm not attracted to fat women, I don't think you're very attractive, I don't like dating bigger women. Instead, he's going, society, my friends, my family are going to disapprove. That's bullshit, dude. That's crazy as fuck. Most of the time, it's legitimately probably he doesn't like you. He just probably wants to have sex with you. He probably wants to just smell your vagina and go about his business, which is something that happens quite a bit, you know? Um, and it's really easy to put the blame on something else or someone else and not take accountability for yourself. So, you know, that's probably what it is. He's probably lying or he's probably exaggerating the truth or trying to make it, try to like lessen the blow almost. One, that you care about what other people think, but two, that you- Everybody cares what everybody- That's- I don't, I'm sick of- Like, we live in a society, okay? And we're impressing each other. That's literally the entire purpose of society, all right? Like, there is no one else we have to appease. Like, we're not appeasing goats. We're not going outside, the like, in the woods and praying to deers. We're not doing that, okay? We're working for people to impress people to make other people happy. That's what we're doing, okay? And- that's beautiful. I wouldn't have it any other way. I don't want to like go out of my way and appease like a koala bear or something like that. Those things suck. But the point I'm making is here, like the point of like, you care what other people think. Yes, most people do care what other people think. If you don't care what other people think, why do you even go outside wearing clothes? Why do you go outside? Why do you have a job? Why do you have a fucking car? Why do you live in an apartment? Why do you live in a house? Why do you eat with spoons and forks? It Everybody cares, okay? Because there are social norms and you adopt those social norms based off of what everybody else is doing. Eddie, period. That's sad. One, that you care about what other people think, but two, that you'd rather compromise your happiness than to just do what you want to do. Would you lose weight if we dated, though? Like, I would love for this person to answer that question. If you genuinely cared and you are willing for this person to compromise, right? Because that's really what she's asking for. If this person feels insecure about showing you off, this individual, this woman, to his friends, family, and the society at large, which is a compromise for him, give it whatever, whatever title you want, that's a compromise. Are you willing to compromise on weight loss? Are you willing to suicide this like, I, I don't need to lose weight and try to better yourself, try to physically like transform your body into a more healthy stance? No, then like, what are you doing? Pick one. All right, easily the worst thing about being fat is dating as a plus size bitch. Let's talk about it. I think that's probably bullshit, dude. I think a lot of people, a lot of women nowadays are just completely fine with being single. And I've met so many women nowadays that don't even feel like they want relationships. And I've met more men than women in the last five or six years that have really been trying to look for relationships, like actual relationships, not guys that are just going out there to have sex. Most guys I know don't even really have sex with the exception of like two black guys I know. And uh, most of the other guys I know just chill. They don't, they don't interact. They play Mario Kart and they spend nine hours a day playing D and D or, and then the rest of the time they're either sleeping, eating or working. It's really sad actually. But and keep in mind, most of that stuff is inside, which is like subsiding you from society in general. So you're like almost never getting social interaction. But I'm probably sure I'm probably thinking that the worst experience about being fat is the overwhelming health problems and the uh, <laughs> the probably maybe the smell, maybe the smell. But I mean, probably dating if that's like one of your if it's if it's centered towards you, if you want to date that I could see it being a problem. But so also, I think like. If it's a problem and you're acknowledging the number one issue when it comes to being fat is dating, I just want to know 
what are you doing to alleviate that problem? Like, is there is there no solution? Are you just gonna sit there and continuously complain about this? I think the worst thing about being fat is dating as a plus size bitch. I would've thought the diabetes, bro, the insulin resistance, the gut, the shoulders, the big back. I don't know, but I guess that's just me. Let's talk about it. So number one, men, for some reason, some men, not all, think that like you're entitled to thinking that they're attractive. I, like hold on like i think that that probably stems from like being being a fatter woman is automatically going to make you more that's going to make you unattractive compared to traditionally attractive women because the process of putting extra weight on your body past the point of your normal bmi is going to physically deduce it's going to physically deduct my bad physically deduct points off of you so if you were like a seven which is a pretty high number by the way being a seven is like pretty good and you were 130 pounds and you look great and you had a snatched waist and you were slay queen edges and all this other stuff and then you started to gain weight that's going to immediately turn that seven into like a 6.5 or a 6.3 as you go up higher and higher and higher because a lot of the things that we use in order to judge people based off attractiveness physically speaking are like most of the time, it's like health cues. Most of the time, it's like, oh, this person has a rib cage. I can see their rib cage, right? Which signifies that this person knows how to take care of themselves. They know about diet. They know about exercise. I can see jawline. I can see thighs. I can see thigh gap. I can see shoulder blades. I can see this. But when you're fat, I don't see any of that. I just see a fat person. I see a person that's been coated in layers and layers and layers of fat. And a lot of times when these people are very, 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 very obese, they have never seen themselves actually and how they physically look because they've been fat most of these people have been fat since they've been children right and i also think it's a weird phenomenon that a lot of these people have giant foreheads but i don't know what's up with that and nose rings i see that quite a bit but most of the time if you grew up fat you're gonna be fat for the rest of your life because that shit's like embedded into you that's like it's gonna be very hard to break the boundaries that have been put in place and it's not that you don't know it's wrong it's just You've grew up with it, so you just think it's right. You know what I'm talking about? Or you just don't think it's a problem because you grew up like that. Like, I'll give you an example. I grew up and I was eating hot dogs and beans, right? And I know that hot dogs and beans are not good for you. And I still eat them to this day because it's a food that I ate when I was a children, right? And that's an, that's an example of it. When you grow up fat and nobody tells you this is wrong and nobody tells you that this is going to be a problem for you later on in your life, you're going to just go on with your life like this is just what I am. It's just how I am. And a lot of these people from the time they're children to the, where they are now, like 20s, 30s, 40s, will sit there and never know what they actually look like because their faces and bodies have been coated in like uh, extra 50, 60, 80, 100, 200 pounds of fat just doing nothing on their body. And I think that's incredibly sad because most people are dating in their 20s. Most people are dating in their 30s, right? By usually by that point in time, it's okay to date past that point, but usually by those points in time, those are where you're going to get like the most attraction um, when it comes to your physical shape and stuff like that. Usually after that, unless you're like George Clooney, Henry Cavill, and all these other like beautiful, disgustingly beautiful men, um, they, then you're probably going to drop off in the attractiveness, right? But that's okay because that's a normal thing that happens. But it's just like it hurts me because you're wasting literally these pivotal moments of your life where you're going to be like the most attractive you've ever been for food. And I get it. Like food is great, especially in today's world where you can just throw cheese on anything and you can get a cheeseburger for $2, which used to be $1. But is it really worth it? Like sacrificing the beauty, sacrificing the outrageously good genetics that have you have on your body that you never even knew you had because you just gained so much weight. Like some people are literally walking around like Greek goddesses, okay? Like chiseled beyond belief, but they never knew and they never have known because they've been so fat for their entire life that it's just never been a thing for them. And that's fucking terrible that's gross it's actually terrible dude it's like being a closeted gay man and never actually knowing the sweet sensation of of a bbc on your mouth it's like that like just unleash the your unleash your inner beauty by cutting out the fat and then also one thing i feel like something that people don't talk about when you're big okay when you're fatter you have more butt cheeks okay and this happens with guys too guys also have bigger butt cheeks right and I always hear women say nowadays that they want guys with bigger meats. And bigger meats are always better. I agree because if you have a bigger meat, that biggerness meat will 100%. If you have a smaller meat, there's nothing a smaller meat can't do uh, that a big meat can't also do, if that makes any sense. If a girl can only take three or four inches, well, guess what? If you got nine, then you could just give her a third of it and you're good. But when you're a fat man, there's like the sprout, you know what I'm talking about, where your meat starts sprouting out of your, your crotch area. Around that, there's like 
fat, okay? For me, I don't have that because I'm a big meated man. And even if I was fat, my, my penis would be massive regardless. But most dudes, well, if they're overweight, will have like a, I don't know what you want to call it, kind of like an apex around the, the cleavage area of their meat, okay? Like they'll have cleavage actually around their meat. And it doesn't look big. It doesn't look appetizing. And when you take a dick pic, you got all that sprouting action. You got all that grass all over the, the meat area, right? And you want to have the good voluptuous meat. And I always say this, look, if you're a woman, that means your butt cheeks are going to be so massive or maybe the vagina itself will be inflated. And that sucks because if you want to properly enjoy the bigness of your boyfriend or your girlfriend's meat or whatever it is, then guess what? Losing weight is going to benefit you from that. Like you're going to be able to properly enjoy the lustation that your boyfriend has or your girlfriend has. And that's going to be better for both of you, right? Because if you have big butt cheeks, then guess what? How am I going to get past all these big butt cheeks? Like big butt cheeks are only good if I always think it's quality over quantity when it comes to butt cheeks. I'm sick of so many fat women that are like 250, 300 pounds going, I have a big butt. I don't care. That's just lumpy. That shit looks like literal clay uh, or like play-doh or something like that like you just threw it on a fucking wall or something it's not good it's lumpy uh quantity over quality in in terms of butt cheeks not good i don't like it i don't like it at all and i think most people can probably agree with that like i like firm butt cheeks anyway like if a man came up to me at a bar and i said that i wasn't interested because like i didn't think he was cute or whatever they kind of act like it's insane that you're not attracted to them because the, you're fat and they were throwing you a bone also like in the social media era Okay, like this has never been a thing until probably five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years ago. And I say this like I say this so often because I think about it so often that life is so incredibly different compared to even five years ago and ten years ago. It's like night and day and people don't really understand this. Right. At some point in time, social media was a place where you and your friends could talk to each other. Maybe you can communicate with each other. Right. Uh, it's a place where it extended your friends. Nowadays, social media is where you find your friends. Now it's like there's no other place to meet people, okay? Like nobody even goes outside anymore to meet people. It's literally I meet people online. And I feel like if you haven't dated in a long time or maybe you're not like tech savvy, the internet is literally becoming more and more real life than real life at this point. Like you're not getting your news from like people outside. You're not communicating with people outside. You're not like, you know what I'm talking about? You're getting your news from the internet, from Twitter, from Facebook, from YouTube. You're getting your all that from that. You're getting all of your, uh, you're, you're, you're not watching TV anymore. You're watching YouTube. You're watching TikTok. You're watching this. Like the internet has become so much of our life that the, uh, the outside world is becoming less and less. And um, whatever you want to say about that, whether it be good or bad, you can't, you can't not acknowledge that that is the truth. So what, what's, what's been happening the last few years is that people get giant heads or their ego starts to inflate because there are a lot of guys out there that are willing to compliment you. And maybe these compliments are good for you. Like maybe you like the fact that this guy is complimenting you and giving you a good morning text and telling you that you're pretty and beautiful and all this other stuff. Right. And I say you, because most dudes are not getting good morning text messages, even from their girlfriends. And if they do, that's an anomaly. Um, Cause like, here's the thing. I'm not even saying it's like a sexism argument. It's just socially and culturally accepted that most dudes are not getting that particular type of attention where women do. And it's a give and take. Like you might get those good morning text messages and I don't get harassed on the street. You know what I'm talking about? I'm not saying it's a good thing or a bad thing. I'm just saying this is the way it is, okay? And women will get good morning text messages and tell them that they're beautiful and amazing and fantastic and beautiful and all this other stuff, right? But at the end of the day, those mean nothing because they're not actually saying those things because they think you're genuinely beautiful and you're fantastic and you're amazing. Most of the time, if men are sending you these messages or they're soliciting these things to you, most of the time, these guys are just trying to have sex with you, okay? They're not trying to genuinely make you feel good. They're trying to get something out of you. So if you are somebody that's a five and you get a hundred text messages, because I've seen this, 100 text messages of guys and people telling you that you're amazing, beautiful, fantastic, and all this other stuff. Maybe, maybe that five turns into a six or seven in your head, and suddenly you think you're way more valuable than you actually are. And get, don't get me wrong. Maybe you are a really valuable person. I'm not saying that you're not. It's all within context. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. But I always say this, dude. That's like gambling, okay? You should open the floodgates as much as you can, and you should be the funnel that chooses the person that you want to be with. Because oftentimes I hear this quote of, "You, there is somebody out there for you, and you just have to find them. Well, guess what? That person that's for you, you may not like them, okay? Or like those four or five people, you may not like them. They might be into some weird shit, like crocheting your pubic hair or something like that, or smelling your foot 
foot while you're sleeping. It's probably weird, okay? Wouldn't it be better to make yourself as humanly, as, make yourself as attractive as you possibly can, and then you choose who you want to engage in a relationship with? That's always going to be the better option, dude. That's always going to be the better option. So, Instead of looking at these like inflated numbers or dudes or people telling you that you're gorgeous on the internet, you should actually be looking at yourself in a realistic mindset, okay? Be honest with yourself and execute off that. And I'm not saying you can't make yourself more attractive. You just have to know how you're playing the game. Most guys, if you're attracted to men, are going to be judging you based off physical appearance. The world, most women know this. Uh, physical attraction for women is like that, that's the definitive. That is the definitive. It's not the same for dudes, Okay. Um, so if you want to amplify your beauty as a woman, you're going to have to amplify your physical shape. That's just really what it comes down to. I'm not saying that you can't do the other things though. Like if you want to become funnier or more cooperative in conversation and you want to like engage more in social activity, that's great too. But that stuff's more secondary to men, you know, whereas women more so they like the secondary stuff that I just said. Um, and the physical aspect is like underneath that, you know, like a lot of women will have an increased likelihood of forgiving physical aspects of men if they have other stuff going for them. But um, yeah, social media is a give or take. It's a good thing. It's a bad thing. I don't think very many young people should be on social media. It shit literally fucks up your mentality. I couldn't even imagine being like 14 years old and having social media today. Like I could not imagine. I, I, it's 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 got to be so incredibly jarring to like navigate the realms that have, that, that we have nowadays. Genuinely, I've had really ugly ass men act like they were doing me a favor by flirting with me just because i'm fat does not change the fact that you look like you were hatched from an egg buddy like Damn. i don't know what to tell you that's hard dude but you know what she might be right on that there are a lot of guys that do think that they are way more attractive because they can score a girl that's fat because maybe she thinks she's lower of themselves i mean have your own preferences totally but uh this girl most definitely is not the most attractive either also dating apps not fun either because i am so terrified of like fat fishing someone i don't even know if that's a thing whatever i put full body photos on all my dating profiles i like to share my instagram or like youtube so they can like when you take those full body pictures are you putting like one leg in front of the other one are you like standing on the side are you like doing one of these so you can get rid of that double chin are you like moving your sh moving your shoulder up like that when you take the picture like look uh, full body pictures are not always going to be the best thing that somebody can use in order to judge you off that. And by the way, um, it doesn't matter most of the time because guys are just literally scrolling literally all day sometimes on just trying to get any matches they possibly can because most women on dating apps don't even actually use dating apps for relationships. They use it for validation. So if that's the case, you have to understand what you're again. It's really important to understand how the game is played. It really is. Literally see me and know what I look like. No, but most of the time, that might not be true. Like, that might not be true, dude. Most of these guys are just looking at your first picture or two pictures, and if they get a message back, maybe they look at the rest of the pictures. Maybe. And if they do, I mean, it's not always going to be the case that you look exactly like you do when you show up. And yet I've still canceled so many first dates because I was like, oh my god, what if they don't know I'm fat? What the fuck? So that sounds like a you problem. You're literally sabotaging your own shit because you're worried... Can I see your pictures, dude? What are you talking? So you're literally going through. Guys are going, let's go. Let's go on this date. I think you're cool. I think you're pretty. I think it's all this stuff. And you go, I have to cancel this date because I don't know if this guy actually knows that I'm as fat as I actually am. But you just told me that your pictures are good and they're a good, and they're a good identifier that you're fat. So that just tells me that you don't have good pictures then. Because you're literally telling me you're canceling because you don't know if he knows you're fat. Which one is it? He either knows you're fat because your pictures are good, or he doesn't know how fat you are because your pictures aren't that good. You can't have it both ways. That doesn't make sense. You have to have it one or the other. Also having to be worried about everyone that matches with you or picks you up at a bar, whatever, that they're just like fetishizing fat people. That's... <sighs> There's just so much to think about. It's, it's okay to be fetishized sometimes. It just depends that... It just... You would hope that the fetishization is something that is behind everything else, if that makes any sense. Like, it just so happens that, oh, wow, you're into feet, you're into, like, sucking toes. Well, guess what? I have two of those, right? That's okay. But you like me for who I am, like, the personality first and stuff like that. Um, that stuff's, like, really way more important. It's okay to have somebody that's into some weird stuff that you guys can both, like, you know come together on like I have a black guy friend and him and his girlfriend do like race play where he dresses up like as a slave or he dresses up as a guy that just gets out of prison because he has a, he has an ankle bracelet that he he still has from because he was in jail but 
he had he has an ankle bracelet that he uses as a prop and he wears like tims and a wife beater and do rags and stuff like that and she calls him the n-word and all this other stuff or whatever i don't know that's what they enjoy it's a weird kink but if that's what they want to do that's what they want to do it's not something that you could do with everybody obviously but it's something that they can do together and it's okay for that they want to do it when it comes to being fat i don't think it's necessarily a bad thing to have a fetishization of fat person as long as that's like the third fourth fifth eighth thing behind everything else if that makes any sense like it's okay to be like damn i really love them big busky cheeks i love it um but I also really love your brain. I really love the way you think. I love the way that you open umbrellas. Like, I love the way that you can go to the grocery store and pick out a good fruit. You know, like that stuff's like, that stuff should be first instead of the big, ginormous, voluptuous butt cheeks that are shaped like Play-Doh. When it comes to dating as a fat, and I, I'm tired. And also the type of men that love fat women are like gym bros. I don't know. I, I, I don't know about that, dude. I just don't know, dude. You literally just told me that you had guys approaching you and they look like literal like Steve Buscemi fusion dancing with fucking Danny DeVito, dude. And those guys aren't bad looking, okay? I'm just saying that's usually what people to refer to as um, as guys that are unattractive. I personally think Steve Buscemi from 1994 was... Huh, huh. Danny DeVito from the 80s was looking real good. He still looks really good now, and he's like 80. He looks really great, actually. But um, anyway, I, I disagree with the whole gym bro thing. Why this is a thing? Are you looking for, like, a new client to train? I... I that might actually be a good thing for you then if that's what if that's what you're talking about like if guys are like trying to look for a challenge or something to like work on you because they already worked on themselves so much that they have to have a new challenge maybe i thought it was more so like i'm so big i'm so strong i need a woman that i can lift up because she's so fucking fat that like i need a <laughs> i don't know either way it's okay i suppose but i don't think that it's happening very often i don't think very many gym bros are like pursuing very very overweight or obese women what like, I mean, I don't mind, but like, I just think it's weird. <laughs> also, I hope that this is just me because honestly, it would make me really sad if other girls would feel like this. But why does having a crush on someone who doesn't like you back make you feel like a fucking monster? Like, I literally feel like grody when I think about the fact that like, I'm like, oh my God, this person must be so grossed out that I have a crush on that. Like, I don't know about that. That's some deep insecurity or whatever, dude. I, I, I did feel like this when I was younger, maybe. Like when you were young, Maybe when you were younger and you were inexperienced and you didn't really understand what you brought to the table because, let's be honest, when you were, like, younger, you had nothing to bring to the table. So you were probably the least valuable you ever were, ever. But as you get older and as you start slowly discovering who you are and, like, self-reflection, understanding, like, you know, how other people see you and how you, like, how the world sees you and stuff like that, you can go into relationships with this understanding of, like, okay, this is who I am. This is what I bring to the table. This is, like what i do and if that person goes mm, no i don't like that i don't think you should feel necessarily gross about it just like move on like most of the time like you're gonna find somebody that's okay with the things that you have to begin with it's like this person probably doesn't and that's fine um don't take it personal don't think you're a monster i don't even understand what you mean by that dude uh i've like in the last 10 years dude no i've never thought like man um i asked this girl out and she said no i wonder if she thinks that i'm like I don't even know. Like, I look like an inverted human being. Like, is that what? I don't know. Like, what did you know? I don't think many people are thinking that. That's a weird no. Literally what? <laughs> I'm genuinely so sick and fucking tired of getting this type of comment. You know, what's really sad about Kelsey, I think her name is here, is that uh, I made a video on this woman. She called me out before because she said that my dating advice was a little bit too good for her. And she's still having problems with dating, like as of 2024, because I made that video like six months ago, and she's still having these issues, dude, to this day, to this day, she's still having issues. And I think, I think back to that sometimes, and I go, why the fuck didn't you just come on? And why didn't you just take my advice? Why didn't you just talk? Because I, I did ask her if she wanted to have a conversation or anything like that, but she said no, and she called me an asshole, and she said I shouldn't vote. And I think, you're still having this issue six months later, obviously, Something isn't working, okay? If you're try, 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 and nothing and nothing works, maybe you gotta change the way you're doing something, right? Maybe, like if you're going and trying to find a relationship and it doesn't work and it doesn't work and somebody goes, hey, I see what your problem is and you go, no, no, you're fat phobic and you shouldn't vote. And then you, the other person goes, okay, okay, bye. And then you keep having that same result. Maybe the other person was right. Maybe I was right about what the fuck I was saying, dude. But anyway, the question is, are you still dating and do you like fat guys? Uh, do you like fat guys yet? Or are you still ignoring them? Yeah, um, I see a lot of very overweight women that don't like fat guys. And it's really sad 
because I mean, it kind of makes sense. It depends on how fat you are, but you can't really do much when you're very, very two obese people. And then also it does make a little bit of sense that you guys would be both obese, but given the fact that if you're a thinner person or like you're a thinner guy, uh, and you're dating a very obese woman, like, what are you guys even going to do together? Not even sexually speaking, sexually speaking, it's going to be a little bit weird, but like, Dude, what if you want to go on a walk? What if you want to, like, go skiing? What if you want to go, like, fucking bowling? What if you want to do anything? It's going to, like, anything that requires acrobatic activity, even, like, light act acrobatic activity, is probably not going to work in that relationship. And a lot of people that are engaging in some type of, like, human communication through the realm of physica physicality uh, it requires you to be acrobatic to a certain degree. So if you're fat, you're probably not going to be able to do that. But if you're both fat, then you can just stay home and I guess watch Netflix all day. Love is Blind season fucking six is out. So I guess you could watch that for like nine hours. And I have made countless videos addressing it and talking about it and talking about all the different aspects of it. I made a video years ago about how a lot of fat men don't like fat women and the reason and a lot of fat women don't like fat men yeah 100 percent. there's there's like some men some women have this like superiority complex where they think even though i'm fat i deserve more than a fat guy i deserve more than a fat girl because like my fatness is not the same as that fatness even though it is real realistically reasoning behind it that i'm not going to go into because i've made so many fucking videos about it or the fact that just a skinny people are like well fat people just to just date other fat people because that's just the way that it should be. I think you should date whoever you want or whoever you can get, which is fine. Like, I don't think necessarily you should just be presuming fat people because you're fat. I don't think that's pretty deductory, to be honest. You can date whoever you want, but you have to at least acknowledge it's going to be negatively affecting your dating options being fat. Just acknowledge that. That's that's it. Which is stupid. Yeah, it's stupid, but you have to see where these people are coming from when they say that. Like, they're basically saying because you're fat, you're, like, lowering yourself, physically speaking, right? So, like, why wouldn't you also take somebody else that's also lowering themselves physically? Like, it's not a stupid, it's not a stupid way of thinking. They're just connecting the dots. Everyone should be allowed to be attracted to whoever they're attracted to. Yeah, but that other person is not entitled to like you back. That's the important thing. That's that's the most important thing. You can be attracted to, and nobody's saying that you shouldn't, or should or should not be attracted to whoever you want to. They're just saying that if you are, uh, you can't expect or assume that that other person is entitled to do that, to reciprocate those same, those same feelings. And just because you fit into one category doesn't mean you exclusively have to date within that category. True. But since you're so fucked. But that's not what that person is saying. They're just saying like, are you still dating and do and do you like fat guys yet? Or are you just ignoring them? He's not even this person's not even asking like, are you annexing fat guys in the sense of like this person's not saying that you're only supposed to like fat guys. This person's asking if you're incorporating them into the dating pool that you have currently. That's what they're asking. So your point of like, oh, just because I'm fat doesn't mean I have to date fat guys, that's not even what this person said curious the last guy that i dated was not a skinny man he I, I just don't like the condescendingness too like the head movement like the last guy i dated was a skinny man but that's not even the question he wasn't thin he wasn't jacked none of that he was tall which i like not a skinny man by any stretch and you know what i was fucking crazy about him I thought he was gonna be my boyfriend. I really did. What happened? Um, but no, he broke my heart. Why? It's actually shocking. Okay. Okay. All right. I mean, I don't know. That didn't really prove a point, but all right. Thinking how many men say they would do this, and we need to talk about. It. Yes, they do do this IRL too. I know some dudes said that they will date a fat girl as long as she goes to the gym and loses weight with him. Yeah, that's probably. I, I've heard this I've heard this idea before where they go, it, you shouldn't want to change somebody when you're in a relationship because that person should be sufficient the way that they are, which is fucking terrible, dude. Have you ever – like sometimes people will say some of the most disgusting rhetoric I've ever heard in my life, right? Well, they'll go, oh, so you want to change your girlfriend? So you want to change your boyfriend? And then you say, well, kind of. I mean like what do you – like in a way, like there's going to be restrictions. Like when any relationship ever happens, there are going to be boundaries set in place, things that I don't want my other person to do and that person is not going to want 
things that I do. I wouldn't say I'm changing them. It's just I have things that I don't like and I know they have things that they don't like and we're gonna work together to figure those things out and compromise to ensure that we're both having an appropriate time in the relationship so this can work, right? Like relationships take a lot of deliberate work. You have to like sit down and delegate shit. And it's like sometimes people think that you should just be good exactly the way you are, which is bullshit that so like if you started dating a girl and that girl was like going clubbing like every four weeks no my bad like every four days and she was like twerking on guys or like you dated a dude and he was going to the gay club and he was like and whipping out dick and sliding it around and shit and like wrangling dudes with it like you would have a problem dude obvious fucking lee or if your girlfriend was out wearing a mini skirt and her ass was all out you would have a problem with that in the same way that if you were dating a guy and he was wearing like I don't know, gray sweatpants and his meat, his meat stain was just on the side right there. It was just like full all the way down his fucking leg. You would have an issue with that. And that's okay. Like these things are things that you have conversations with your person. They're called restrictions. So if you're dating somebody and they go, Hey, listen, I'd, I'd like, if we do date, I would really like it if we like went to the gym and we worked out together and we got it on fitness. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. It's fine if you don't want to do those things, but I wouldn't necessarily look at that as like a, Oh, he's asking so much or he wants to change me, dude. If this guy's attracted to like thinner women and you're not thinner women, he's giving you a chance, but it's not like you have to take that. Earlier today, I saw this video on Twitter that was like hate reposted. You know how they do that. They like put it out there for all their bros to laugh at. And this one was a fat girl and a tall, built, conventionally attractive man that were like showing how in love they were in this TikTok. And of course, all the comments are what you'd expect. They're like, oh, he must be gay. Oh, you know, he has a fetish for that. Like every explanation you can possibly find to disprove how this relationship could possibly exist. But among a lot of those comments are men defending him saying, oh, well, it's actually a great strategy to to date a woman like that because she's actually really pretty and once she loses the weight he's gonna have a catch who's also loyal because she's probably insecure from having been fat and she'll never be able to get anyone else now that's really <laughs> fucked up actually damn dude 4d chest on that one get a really insecure fat girl turn her into a 10 and then she'll never leave you because she doesn't know any better that's crazy dude damn man always know your worth always 100 if somebody's doing something that you don't like or whatever it may be um don't don't feel like you're entitled to stay in that person's relationship even if they're doing something fucked up that's no don't tolerate shit like that um obviously talk about it naturally but if you know this person pushed your boundaries a little bit too much it is what it is like and the relationship you shouldn't feel entitled to stay in somebody's some is, is stay in a failing relationship because it's convenient or this person's like gaslighting you into staying in that relationship dude it's not healthy regardless First of all, if you believe that she would become a perfect 10 if she lost weight, what's to say she wouldn't also believe that and then look for other men, but that's neither here nor there. What really concerned me about this is a lot of these men are super into the idea of taking a fat woman on as a project and they will openly say this. But what's crazy about that, which I don't know if they realize, is that it takes a long time to lose that much weight. Like, to yeah. lose the amount of weight they're saying they want her to lose. How much is she losing, dude? How much does she weigh? If she's, like, what? If she's, like, 210 and you need her to get down to 130, that could realistically take a year and some change. But you do realize in that year and some change, that's, like growth like you're not just growing you're like you're building foundations on the relationship right and it's going to be harder and harder to like break those foundations because you're building great foundation too because you're working on health and fitness that's a great way to build on relationship so i mean how fat is this girl that we're talking about man what if she's like 400 i wouldn't even bother dude if you're look dude if you're a dude and you're and you're taking on a fat girl as a project and you're like you know thinking about her in the future that's fine but, like, to what to what level are we talking about, dude? If she's, like, 400 pounds, man, I don't know. Like, that's probably going to take, like, five years maybe? Maybe a little bit less? Maybe, like, four years? But I, that seems like a big task in my opinion. I don't know. Like, what do you guys think about that? It would probably take a year. If oh, a year is fine, dude. What? Bro, I feel like a lot of these people don't realize. Okay, like, a year for a lot of people could be, old, like, a long time. But... A year for most people in relationships is, like, default. Like, most people are in relationships for, like, one year at minimum. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. A year? Yeah, like I said, that's fine, dude. And, but, like, you got to understand, like, let's say when she weighed 210, if she needs to lose that, like, what did I say, like, 80 pounds or something? If she needs to lose that 80 pounds, in half that year, she loses, like, 40 or 30 pounds, she's looking way better. Like, 
she's feeling better, she's more aerobic, she probably feels more confident with herself, like that relationship is going to be even better because she lost that weight. So like even though she didn't reach the final result, she's still on the tracks and she's looking, feeling, doing all that betterness and all that stuff. Like, yeah, dude, what's there's nothing wrong with that. Like even if that was a year, you're still seeing progress within the time frame. You're, you know, doing it in a way that's not extremely medically concerning. Yeah. So it's like even if your plan works and she loses all that weight easily on whatever diet plan you're putting her on and she does gain it back which is very unlikely given the statistics but they don't want to hear that anyway you're still dating a fat girl for a year what do you have to say about that it is what it is like what are you talking about sometimes you date a fat girl dude i dated a girl that was like 200 pounds and then she lost weight and she went down to 130 and she looked awesome she looked great sometimes it's all right it's fine like it's not like Again, I don't think many people really give a fuck about what the social, what many people think about you, what your girlfriend looks like. I think this is what really these people latch onto really like a lot. It's like society, your friends and family. And I get it to a certain degree, but I think, dude, you're, you're overthinking it. Like most people are not caring that much. And also a girl that weighs 200 pounds is not the same as a girl that weighs three, four, 500 pounds. Like there's a big fucking difference, dude. You are still dating a fat girl. You are having sex with a fat girl for a year you are going to be seen as dating a fat girl mm -hmm. for the first year. What are they going to do? Hide it for the first year? I no, feel nobody cares. Like, what What do you mean? Like, who's hide? Bro, look, the only time I've ever seen this where they go, oh, he just, he, he wants to hide me, but he still wants to date me. Most of the time, that guy's not dating you, okay? He's having sex with you, and he's lying to you, and he's telling you that you're dating, but you're not dating because that doesn't make any sense. How are you going to be dating a guy and he's telling you outright that he doesn't want, he doesn't fuck with the fact that you're fat. He doesn't want to be seen with you. You're not fucking dating. That guy is literally a facade. Okay. And most of the time it's like a friends with benefit situation. It's like, this guy is not actually with you. Okay. He's just, it's just your fuck buddy. And that's fine. If that's what you want to do. It's great. If that's like, like that's your goal but most of the time i see these videos it's people going no i want a relationship i want to date this guy i want to have like you know the 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 communication aspect and i want to come home to him and i want to do this like that's fine too you should want that that's great but you can't do that with a guy like that and he might just be lying he just might most of the time these guys are lying most of the guy most of these dudes are literally just saying that because like what do you mean like who first of all who is even going to care? Like when you're on public, okay, and you slip and fall, for instance, and then you look around just to see if anybody sees you or you open up the umbrella and it's like rainy and the umbrella inverts and you look around to see if anybody saw you. Nobody cares. Like nobody. Nobody gives a fuck because everybody got their own shit going on, okay? Like to a certain degree, might maybe somebody might laugh and they can make fun of you for like five minutes, but nobody's like reflecting back on that and going like, oh man, that one time that guy had that inverted umbrella. Like nobody's fucking thinking about that shit, okay? Like Maybe you want to talk about like posting your significant other on your social media, like maybe a picture or two of you and your girlfriend. I don't know, like at a park or something like sure. Maybe like people in the comments are like, damn, your girl big as fuck. That bitch fat. Like maybe, but <laughs> like what is it? What kind of Instagram do you have? First of all, like most people have Instagrams that are close friends. So I don't know, man. I don't think it's like. I don't think many people are having this issue. I just don't. Like, I, I can't even think of a scenario. Like, you bring a fat girl home, and then when she leaves, your mom is like, damn, like, I didn't know you was into the big bitches. Like, dude, nobody's doing that shit, okay? And if they do, those people are terrible people. Anyway. I feel like maybe some of them hide her until they make her into the thing that they're comfortable showing around but highly unlikely highly unlikely too much work i feel like these people un these people really 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 underestimate the amount of selfishness the amount of not doing work people want to do so like you're talking about hiding a girl away for over a year so that way you can get this like meta metamorphosis fucking woman uh, like shelling off of her fucking egg sac to get this like beautiful amazing nobody's doing that shit nobody okay like you're fucking doing shit together okay that's just what it is nobody gives a fuck still you are going to still be with her yeah so that tells me your problem is not that you're not attracted to her once. that's dumb yeah, man, that's dumb, bro. Nah, bro, that's not how that works. I see, I see her logic though. She's saying that basically, like, because you're still gonna be dating a fat girl for a year, that you ultimately like you for a year. You're dating a fat woman for a year, even though the end result is her being like 80 pounds down and looking like tremendous. You're still ultimately dating a fat girl for that one year. So the problem isn't that the problem isn't that she's fat. You like that she's fat because you're dating her for a year. And I understand that. But that's like putting a build together in a video game. And you're not going to have all the pieces. Okay? Like, you're you're building towards something. But it's going to, it's going to like, get you through. 
whatever you're, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's going to get you through the mid game. It's going to get you through the early and the mid game. But the end game is going to be unstoppable. The end game is going to be fucking outrageous. The end game is going to be insane. It's like investing. Like, you put money into something, okay? But it's nothing at the moment. But, like, maybe in 10 years, it's going to be awesome, right? That's what we're, that's what they're doing. It's not that, like, there are, there are more aspects to somebody than just physical shape, right? That you could be attracted to as well. And not this, if this person is, like, like, I always say this, bro. If you're, like, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 pounds over, it's not that big of a deal. Even 100 pounds, depending on how you look, it probably isn't that big of a deal for a lot of people. But it's something that probably should be addressing. Uh, yeah, dude. Like, I, I, I see what you're saying, but it doesn't work in practicality. With her. So that tells me your problem is not that you're not attracted to her when she's fat. Because you're still going to pick her. And by the way, men do not even look twice at women they're not attracted to. And I know this. That's a fucking lie. What the fuck are you talking about, dude? Have you ever even seen a dude? What? Bro, dudes now... Bro, dudes are having sex with like microwave peanut butter jars. And you're talking about dudes don't look twice at girls they're not attracted to. Dudes will have sex with the lowest common denominator. They don't give a fuck. What are you saying, dude? What? Have you ever seen a dude that is fully meated up? Dude, a guy that's like horny beyond belief. It's like being horny sometimes as a guy is like a bus driver, okay? Like most of the time you're the bus driver, okay? You're driving your bus and it's fine. Like you're abiding by the rules of the road. You're picking people up. It's great. But sometimes what happens is like when you're really, really horny as a dude is that you sometimes sh like switch people switch places like your dick is in the back okay and then boom the dick is driving the truck and it's fucking you know it's, it's driving off the fucking road dude he's like bumping into shit you know, mailboxes are going fucking flying or whatever and that happens for like 45 35 minutes or something like that and then suddenly after all this big giant transition of chaos then you teleport back into the front that's what it's like being as a dude and being like horny and that's not all the time but the point i'm making is like if you think dudes are not willing to have sex or even pick a girl because they're desperate or they're they don't have shit like I know some guys that have not had sex in years okay and anything at the end of that three-year mark is better than nothing okay dudes that have been beating off dudes that have beat off blisters okay literal blisters on their meat um rug burn even because they've been literally wax on wax offing their shit every day for three years okay a vagina is going to be like, it's going to be like the pond in the middle of the Sahara, you know, like that one. And even if you get it once, it's going to be better than nothing. So if you think dudes are not looking at women they don't find attractive, you're fucking crazy. That's a that is a crazy ass statement. And by the way, men do not even look twice at women they're not attracted to. And Wrong. I know this because I'm fat. They that's not true. You don't bro. That's you don't hang out with dudes. OK, that, that just tells me you don't hang out with dudes, bro. Look right through you. That's they do crazy. Not acknowledge your I mean, to a certain degree, like if a guy knows his worth to us, if a guy knows his worth and he knows that he can get better, but this goes for anybody. Like most people are not going to look at somebody they know they can get better than, you know what I'm saying? But if a dude, most dudes, bro, have you not talked to guys in like 2024? Most guys nowadays don't have sex. Most guys nowadays are socially awkward. Most guys nowadays don't even know how to approach a woman, let alone even look at a woman. So if you're telling me a guy is not willing, bro. Dudes are willing to spend like $50 on a feet picture and you're thinking that a guy is not going to have sex with you because you're 350? Nah. Nah. Nah, dude. Nah. He he'll he'll do it. He'll do it, dude. You as a person, they do not think twice about wanting to date you. Absolutely not. No matter how pretty your face is, if they do not like fat girls, genuinely, they are not they want nothing to do with you. It's just that's not true. I mean, how many how many videos have we done with girls going, "He had sex with me cuz I'm fat, but he didn't want to date me." Literally in this video, too. Dude, it happens literally all the time. It doesn't. It's not. It's not. It's not really a thing. It's not. The men who are making her into a project are attracted to her, but they are not willing to be seen with her in public. They're attracted enough to her, and they're looking at the end result. It's like investing in anybody. Like a lot of look. This even happens with women, right? A lot of women will look at a guy and they go, "He has nothing. He's poor. He's broke. He doesn't have a fucking lamp in his house. He's sitting at home all day beating his meat." But he's got this college degree. But he's really funny. But he has a great family life. But maybe in two, three years from now, this guy can be amazing. And it does happen sometimes where this guy like develops and cooks and does this. And then he turns into something. And this happens with a lot of guys. Like a lot of guys are not good. And then they are good, if that makes any sense. And it takes a little bit of time sometimes to develop out something. And a lot of women invest. And that's okay. That's good. I don't, I'm not shitting on that sometimes. Like it's, it is what it is. A lot of women do invest in the same way that maybe guys invest, right? 
it's okay to do those things, right? That's maybe what's happening. They're just investing. They are not willing to be seen as somebody who would date a fat girl unless maybe it's because it was their personal manipulation game so they still have the power. It speaks volumes when they say this kind of stuff. She's um she's overthinking it. She's overthinking it like crazy and she's drawing connections. I see where she's drawing them, but they don't make sense. It tells me everything I need to know, not only about them as a person, but also about what kind of corn they watch. Coco Bean said, I feel like most guys don't care if you got a little stomach. Not I think you can't even judge how, bro. You know, man, look, dude, sometimes you think that you know what kind of porn somebody's watching. I can usually tell on women because it's like three things most of the time. It's like, it's either gay porn gangbangs i've seen too many women that watch gangbangs and um oh erotica like uh maybe it's like somebody reading a story to you because sounds are like really important to women and a lot of guys during sex don't even actually have they don't display sounds which is really sad by the way because like dude having sounds in your sex is awesome you should 100 percent incorporate words vocals in your i know a lot of people out there i've talked to people before that say Oh, I don't like it when he talks to me during sex. I don't like when he vocalizes shit. Stop being a bitch, okay, dude? It's it, it's it's way better. It's way 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 better when you're talking. And I'm not talking. I'm not saying like, oh wow, like so. How's your day going today? Like you know, like how's your day going today? Like how was it? No, nobody's doing that, okay? You know what I'm talking about when I say sounds, words, and things like that. You know what I'm talking about. Way better. Way more immersive. You're getting deep into that shit. That's that's the wave, okay? Now if you don't like sounds. Uh, you're lying to yourself, okay? And you're probably a man. Let's be honest here for a second because, like, it's easier to not make noises than it is to make noises. Um, and you have to actually try and put an effort when you make noises as a dude. But uh, it's way appropriate, way appropriate. Incorporate sounds if you're a guy. And if you're a woman, tell your boyfriend or girlfriend to also incorporate sounds because that's – it's really important. They watch. And words. Coco Bean said, I feel like most guys don't care if you got a little stomach. Not guys that are relationship ready. Whatever you think is wrong with your body, girl, these men don't care. They don't care. You got those, girl, you got those tiger stripes right here, girl. They don't care about it. He's kind of right, though. Like, most dudes, a lot of women have, like, really deep insecurities about things that don't really matter. Like, I knew a girl, and she was like, I have vitiligo on my vagina. And I was like, okay, I'm just like, whatever. I don't give a fuck. Like, I don't even know what that is. Like, I, like whatever. It just makes you, like, a unique Pokemon. Like, I don't care. Right. And I met some girls that are like, I have a big forehead. I'm insecure about it. Most dudes don't give a fuck about a big forehead or uh, what did I like? I, th there's a lot of insecurities or like, oh, I have stretch marks on my boobs or something or like my boobs are a little bit saggy. It's like most dudes just don't care. Like most dudes know that there's going to be problems with women in the same way that there are going to be problems with guys. Like it is what it is. But um, it's really, really good to find somebody that you're going to date with that is going to have those conversations, though. Like if you're obese or you're fat. And the person that you're with is not talking about those things with you. It's not necessarily a good thing. It's actually probably a bad thing because that person's overlooking a major problem that you have because it's convenient, maybe. You got some stretchy stretch over here, girl. They don't care about it. They don't. He's he's a little bit right though. He's he most dudes are like whatever. That doesn't prevent prevent them for from getting their rocks off. No shade. Hey, I mean, he's right. Sure. Like, like I said, like most dudes are willing to have sex with like peanut butter, microwave peanut butter, dude, conditioner bottles, apple pies, man, watermelons, like whatever you want to think about. That's kind of like a little bit gushy, dude. Yeah, that's they'll, they'll have sex with like a hamburger helper serving, dude. It doesn't. Some of the girls are like, oh, my God, I got to I got to lose 20, 30 pounds, girl. In my 600 pound life, they always got a man. Damn, damn, damn. He's kind of telling some truths, though, bro. I gotta, I gotta admit it. He's telling some truths here, dude. That's a factual statement. It's not exactly like, it's not exactly conjoined to what he's like referring to here, but he is right. It's, it's definitely a true point. The amount of people on my 600 pound life that are married or have, but they're not doing anything together. It's a really fucked up, terrible relationship. If that's how you're judging your relationships, like, oh man. Uh, even though my boyfriend doesn't give a fuck about me and he doesn't talk about <laughs> he doesn't talk about me being obese as a bad thing or anything like that and he continues to buy me like double chocolate chip sundays and shit like that at least I got a relationship like I guess if that's your ultimate goal is that you have a relationship but if, 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 if it's a relationship that's worth literally nothing because the person that you're with ultimately doesn't give a fuck about you if that's what you want that's fine but most people don't want that most people want somebody that's going to actually care about them and sometimes that means telling the hard truths or saying things that are going to hurt you. No shade. But it's he's right. It's not about the way. And anyway, 
you know, what do they say in the, in the marriage vows? Through thick and thin. To a certain degree, dude. To a certain degree. Through thick and thin is not... Through thick and thin is a weird way of going about that. They're not talking about weight, dude. They're, they're talking about thick and thin as in, like, through the thick and the thin of life. Like, through the thin points where there's not much happening and you guys are just coasting. And the, the, the thick parts of life where you're going through a lot of trouble, a lot of trauma. And uh, that's what they mean. Like, you're going to stay together through the hard points of life. That's not the weight, bro. That's, cra <laughs> that's crazy, bro. What a way to look at that. Sometimes you're going to be thick. Sometimes you're going to be thin. No nah, sense. dude. Get the fuck out of here. Right? They got to love you throughout it all, honey. That's not true, dude. Come on, man. The type of men that love fat women are like gym bros. I don't know why this is a thing. It's not a thing. I, I refuse to believe that. That's not a lie. So the gym that's bro a, that, thing that's is a lie. And I think something people have to remember is that gym bros weren't always gym bros. A lot of them started off as scrawny or overweight and they wanted to improve themselves. That's why they're all a bunch of nerds. The gym bros are nerds. They're nerds about fitness. They science the crap out of their fitness and their nutrition. And they are really into comic books and, you know, all the typical nerdy things like video games and all that stuff. So it's not actually... Is it nerdy anymore to like video games? Isn't that the, like the most lucrative genre of entertainment on the planet right now? I don't know about that, the, dude. The meatheads that we think... I mean, some of them might behave like a gym bro, like the typical stereotype, but... I think that a lot of them are nerds. So I think we have to reconceptualize what a gym bro kind of dude is. They're if you think that a gym bro is a guy that's like over technolizing or like he's over analyzing and he goes into like the deep intricacies of diet exercise and so on and so forth, like endocrinology and stuff like that. And he's dating a fat girl and he has no intention of making that girl or like wanting her to lose weight in any way. He That means that that guy, not only is he like, okay with dating you but that means he's okay dating you knowing that there are problems on your body like actually knowing because he knows about the nutrition he knows about the diet he knows about working out he knows about the endocrinology right that's what she's saying then that means that he's literally just saying yeah i'm in shape but fuck this bitch that's what they, that's what that's what i'm getting from that they, they're not a monolith like they all have different opinions and, and experiences and all that stuff and a lot of them have a sensitivity towards looking less conventionally attractive like they're not gonna pour pig's blood on you you know no, i see what they're she's saying like basically they were unattractive at one point so they're okay with you being unattractive which is really crazy because you're acknowledging that fat girls are not as attractive i mean but there's also a theory out there about how gym bros were always attracted to bigger women or curvier women and they became gym bros they wanted to get bigger because they wanted to be bigger than the woman that they're attracted to and i think that might have some merit i don't know i uh, that i can i can see that the, the person i saw posit this is in fact a gym goer like he's a gym guy so maybe i always think like let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section about this but i'm always like a little uncomfortable if i'm dating somebody and they're slightly overweight than me or they're more overweight than me because like i always kind of feel like i'm a dude like damn bro and don't get me wrong i'm a smaller guy right i'm a smaller guy but i'm not that much smaller than the average dude i think like what is the average guy in America weigh? Like 170 or something like that? But like for a long time, most dudes weighed around 160-ish. And I think like most women weighed around 30, 30 pounds lighter than that or 20 pounds lighter than that. So like 130, 140-ish. And that was like the default for a really, 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 really long time. I weigh, I think like 150 right now, right? And I'm 5'10". And it's like really weird to me when I'm dating a woman because it's like, you're not supposed to weigh that much. You're shorter than me. You don't, you're not as active as me. You know, like how the fuck do you weigh more than me? Like that shit is always just, that's always concerning to me. And what do you guys think about that? Like for me, it's really uncomfortable and it's like a sign that like you're doing something wrong. You know what I'm talking about? Like if you're, for me, that's what I think. Like you're just a short, you're just a smaller person than me, yet you are still fatter than me. Like in my opinion, if you weigh more than a man at his default, that's not good. That's not a good thing. Like you shouldn't be heavier than your dude, unless like you have an extreme. Like if you're like a bodybuilder or like you have a a job description that requires you to be bigger, like fine. But most of the time, I just don't like it, and I think it's probably wrong. Maybe he's talked to enough men to feel like that's true. I hate when they add those like the the end screens on TikTok. I saw a TikTok earlier today about a woman. Terrible makeup, dude. Whoo, wow. Terrible makeup, dude. She in the sauna. Who was a little bit bigger and she said, I hate dating as a fat girl because 
men will tend to say things on dates like, oh, you don't look like your pictures. You don't look like I thought. So it's something that we have to consciously go out of our way for. I how always. How many times does this happen, man? How many times you go on dates and the guy's like, damn, you know how disrespectful it is to show up on a date, sit down, talk for a little bit. And the guy go, yeah, oh, man, that's really great about your parents and how they retire. But there's just something that's better. You look, you look different Um, when I, when, you, when I was looking at your picture. And then I saw you, and I was like, oh, yeah, actually, I'm pretty good. But then we showed up, and I saw you, and I was like, um, you, don't, you don't really look like how you look like on your profile. Uh, is that profile picture from, like, two, three years, ten years ago? Like, why? Who are you? Like, are you the same person in this picture? Like, why do you look so different? That's got to be disrespectful as fuck. I don't even know what you say to that. Add guys on Snapchat so that way they can see that I am a little bit bigger. And if that's not for them, nah, I'm not. I don't even have a Snapchat. I don't even know. What, does anybody even use Snapchats anymore? Their loss. That's their loss. If you say so, dude. What? So like, if a, if a guy sees you and goes, <gasps> and then you go, that's your loss because I'm not changing. I mean, I guess, but they never wanted you to begin with. So I mean, if you want to look at it as like, I don't, I'm not, I, I'm not fired. I quit type thing. That's fine, but it's going to continuously be an issue, bro. I don't know. I don't even know how you look at it like that. Like, this guy thought I was not as attractive as he thought he was, and then he left. It's his loss. Like, that's a really weird way of looking at, like, a, I'm not going to change because I know I'm right, even though I'm having the same result over and over and over again. But it's sad that I literally have to add someone on Snapchat so they can see who I am so they know what I look like. You just, like, not be fat and not have that issue. You know that, right? So that it's, like this is what she looks like now okay but what if the guy doesn't have snapchat like what do you do just like hey just let you know i'm like 450 can she just like send the weight i feel like the weight is a good indicator it's not that weight she's a little smaller than that she's a little bigger than that you know i try to keep my pictures as accurate as possible but that's just how it is but i've gotten comments from guys there was one guy that i was talking to for a pretty long time and i asked him like I don't know, we were just talking about our types and stuff. And he goes, yeah, you have the perfect personality. You are so wonderful. You're so sweet. You're so thoughtful. Damn. You always message me and make sure I'm having a good day. We have great conversations. But you're fat? That's going to be crazy as fuck if I hear that. And I'm like, okay, then why aren't we, you know, dating? And he goes, well, I like other kinds of girls. That's so crazy, bro. Damn, that's hard. Oh, that's hard, bro. What do you even say to that? He just basically said you got everything but the body, bro. That's crazy. That's I mean, it's a big deal for a lot of people, dude. If I'm not physically attracted to you, there's not much I can do. You know, like I can't like beat out that attractiveness thing with all these other traits. You know, you're gonna you got you you should want to want to be with your person. That's that's a hundred percent. But these people are looking at it as if like it's a bad thing. Like oh wow, he, he like all these things are <laughs> his fucking faced. Her fucking face is crazy, bro. As if the go the dude said something crazy, bro. It is kind of crazy, but I mean, what do you want him to do? Like you just want him to like ignore this giant aspect that he finds fundamentally unattractive. Yeah, dude, it's a problem. It's a problem, bro. Lose some weight. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. How many times have I heard this, like, same scenario? You are exactly the same as every other girl. I'm, you're not unique, okay? You, e there are plenty of other girls that have great personalities, that are funny, that are attractive, that are going to send great, good, how are you doing today, text messages and stuff like that, that are not fat, okay? That's just what it is. He's not attracted to fat women. That's just what it is. And I was like, it's because I'm bigger, right? Because yeah. Yeah, you big, you blag, you blag. He's made comments before, comments about my weight, comments about me going to the gym, and they were like sly ones that like- You, you should just tell her straight up, like, listen, I think this could probably work if you just like lost a good 30, 40, 50 pounds. Like, that would be great. And you'd be healthier, and it would benefit us both, and I would want to suck your toes. Like, it was just benefit on top of benefit. Would brush under the rug if you didn't- A lot of dead ends too, bro. No, that's because he thought you were bigger. But once you realize that I'm not his type and he's not dating me because I'm bigger, it's like, oh, that's why. And then you why are you even hanging out with this guy anymore? Like, tell me you left this guy, right? Like, at that point, you just leave. I, I don't know. Man. The guys who fetishize you because you're bigger. Like, the first message they send on a dating app is... Isn't it weird that, like, this, these are the only two options that she's had is, like, fetishization. Like, guys that only want to be with you because you're fat. And then this guy thinks that you're cool in every other aspect but besides you're fat. Like, you can't even... <laughs> like, just fucking lose weight at that point, dude. You, 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 you can't win. I like thicker girls. Or I like your body. I like bigger... Like, they'll literally say to me, I like bigger girls. You gotta do something about this makeup, dude. What is this? What happened here? Why does it look like that? 
Why is it brown? And I'm like, do you think that that makes me feel really good about myself? Do you think that that makes me feel sexy? No, you don't have to comment on my weight. You can literally just say I like your body. That uh, don't even say that. That's a crazy ass thing to say. Don't, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. If you're hitting somebody up on a dating app, do not hit them up with, I like your body. That's crazy. Do not do that. Don't even talk about their body. If you want to talk about something physical on them, talk about their shoes. That's it. And the first message, we get so fetishized by men. It's disgusting. It's like, I don't know. I It's just the guys who are too into bigger girls, but make it known. It's like, you don't have to look at me as a bigger girl. You don't have to look at me as a thin girl. Yeah, but like, if a guy is fetishizing you, then he is only looking at you as a thin girl. And if a guy wants to be with you, but he is not attracted to fat girls, then he's going to be looking at that too. So I get what you're saying, but that's not how that works, bro. That's like going to a car dealership and going like, um, yeah, this car is like great, but it literally doesn't have tires. And the guy goes, yeah, just like, don't look at that. Just like, don't look at the tires. Like, forget about that. Like, what, I mean, what you mean? Forget about it. It's like, kind of like, well, how am I going to get it off the fucking lot? What you mean? Don't look at it. It's the same shit here. Like, if I don't like fat girls and you're telling me don't do, like, forget about it. What the fuck you mean? Forget about it. Like, I, I don't like it. What are you talking about? What is it? What is it? You just look at me as a girl. That's not how that works. That's not how that works. You... All right. Because all I hear when you say stuff like that is you're looking at my body and yeah but you're dumb because like you're, you're you're only looking at it through your eyes like are you not looking at it from the sense of like what this guy wants is it is it not about what he wants to are you fucking stupid dude like it's literally a relationship is a two-way street if you want this guy to be attracted to you but you're telling him to just completely ignore the main thing that he's not attracted to that's not how that works that can't be how that works dude i'm not gonna ignore the number one thing that i'm not attracted to bro not my personality. Duh, duh, duh. I'm currently even through the personality, it doesn't matter. He literally said that. A weight loss journey for myself, for health purposes, for how I want to look when I'm older. Not so much look, but like be healthy when I'm older, you know? And you can be healthy and bigger very easily. How much bigger, dude? Like 20, 30 maybe? Easily. It's just a matter of body type. But I'm really afraid because I know when I start getting healthier, I'm going to lose a lot of weight. And guys might just look at me as a skinny little girl that they want to hook up with. Bro, you're not getting good matches now. You're literally telling me guys are fetishizing your body because you're fat. And you have guys that are literally denying you because you're fat. I think anything is better than that at that point. Like, you're going to have more options, so. And I'm terrified. Like, I don't even understand, like, bro, what is even the solution then? So you're telling me you, <sighs> you're telling me. You want to lose weight, but you're scared if you lose weight, guys are only going to want you for your body. But being a fat woman, guys only want you for your body or guys only don't want you for your body. So it can't be both. Like, what the fuck, dude? Terrified that someone won't like me for my personality, but only my body. I think this woman, like, maybe like she's inexperienced. Maybe she just doesn't realize it. But most dudes are attracted to women based off physical features first, okay? You can have a personality, you can have all that stuff behind it. But most dudes, like, damn, she fine, bro. She, damn, she banging, her body banging, dude, right? That's that's what most dudes are doing, okay? Most guys, okay? You might meet that odd guy that doesn't really look at the body, but he's probably not. Like, he's probably looking at the body. And that's an anomaly. I know that it might be hard to believe because, like, a lot of people have this, like, weird idea that they they try to like project their own likes and needs onto what other people should like and need so like for instance this person is going like i focus on personality i for, i focus on somebody's sense of humor i focus on this person's this and this and this and then they think that the other person is also going to do that and then they're surprised when they're not that's not how that works that other person is a completely different human being and they have their own and they have their own wants and needs you're not going to just expect them to want and need what you want no, that's not how that works. They're in a different rank category, whatever the fuck. They're different people. So, no, that's not how that works. And then when I start getting... But just because you can do that doesn't mean they can. ...more weight because I'm older and can't do as much that they might just cut me out because I don't look the way I did when we first got together. No, that's dumb. Oh, I hate that. I hate that too, bro. Like, we're going to get old together and I'm just going to, like, leave you because you're not as hot as you were when you were 22 because you're 32 now. No, nah, bro, most of the time, if you're fat... That means you're literally inducing bad problems, and it's not a body type that you like. You know what I'm talking about? Like, if you're 22 and you're dating somebody that's 22, odds are you're probably not going to like somebody that's 42 because they're, like, 20 years older than you. But when you're 42 and they're 42, then it's probably okay because you're 42. Like, but you're not both fat. You understand? Like, it's not...
it's a dumb it's a dumb way of looking at it dude she's trying to find a reason to like she's trying to find a reason so hard to try to justify staying fat which is fine stay fat if you want to but you're gonna have the same problems dude but i'm happy that she's tr trying to find a uh i don't know she said that she was looking for she was trying to lose weight so that's good for her good for you really great for you but anyway guys we're gonna end the video here if you enjoyed today's video i'd appreciate it for everybody to leave a like comment subscribe sharing the video all that stuff i'd appreciate it tremendously i want to thank everybody that is a subscriber thank you i want to thank everybody that's a member thank you you're an amazing person if you want to become a member you can go ahead and click the subscribe button and then right next to that will be a join button and you can hit that you can hit that if you want to but if you don't want to that's fine too i love you regardless you spent so much time with me today i care about you we're probably live streaming right now as the time of this video is maybe not no it's one o'clock when i publish these what am i talking about 6 p.m um we're gonna be streaming so if you're watching this at around 6 p.m., I'm streaming probably, and you can tune in. You can watch the stream. We're doing a whole bunch of stuff. It's not just fat acceptance or anything like that. We're exploring. We're doing a whole bunch of stuff, and you can actually send me stuff on the Discord, which is linked in the description down below. Um, if you watch the video up until this point, leave it down below by typing in white light because I have a new, a brand new white light hanging from my ceiling and is it better in here dude it's so much better i had a yellow light before but now it's white and now it's so much better because white is better oh hold up damn that's kind of crazy that came out of nowhere no you know what i'm talking about i feel like the white light is better though it's way more like natural in my opinion like the yellow light was just kind of like not good but i don't know how i tolerated it for as long as i did it doesn't matter though white light um leave it down below also i have to talk to you about something um i've been having a problem with you uh, I've been having a real big problem with you, and I think that it needs to be adjusted. It needs to be addressed. It needs to be talked about right now, right now. Otherwise, I'm not. I'm gonna feel like I'm not getting my point across. Okay. Whenever I see you now, okay, when we're having these conversations, we're talking. I need you to just, okay. I need you to stop being so fucking beautiful. It is too much for me to have a conversation. Like you can't expect me to be talking to you vocally with my speech, okay, and using mental capacity while you look as ungodly beautiful as you do. I think that that's unfathomable. It's uncanny. Why would you ever expect that? You look way too delicioso. Those kneecaps sparkle. Those elbows, joyful. Everything on your body, mmm, delicious. And you sit there and you go, David, David, talk to me. And I go, huh? Oh, yeah, my bad. Uh, I was just what are we talking about again because like i just I couldn't believe how fucking gorgeous of a person you are you're just always super amazing and awesome all the time and i think it's like listen i don't know how you could be mad at me for that dude like get the fuck over it you're too you look way too good okay like i wouldn't want to change that but like don't expect me to just not be drooling okay but anyway we're getting to the video here if you want to check out my social medias will be linked down below in the description instagram twitter discord and all this other stuff is going to be linked in the description of this video and the description of the channel enjoy the rest of your day guys 